Florida. What is going on there? There's a lot of decisions to be made. I'll put it to you that way. I do believe, based on what I have had, uh, based on the conversations that I have had, that Tom Coughlin is in Doug Marone's corner. You can kind of get the sense in that radio interview that he gave on Tuesday morning that that's going to be the case. But the only opinion, really, that matters most of all is what Shad Khan, the owner, is thinking. We don't know at this point what that's going to be. But if and when he leans on Coughlin for his feedback, I expect him to be in Marone's corner because he truly does believe in Marone's philosophy, Prime. How we going to sit up here and play like the elephant and the gorilla is not in the room simultaneously? This whole team has been disrupted mentally and psychologically all because you chose to pay chose to pay Blake Bortles and none of these guys on the team was with it. It is playing out just the way they thought it would play out. It's the every, At the end of the game, every press conference, they want to say it, but they can't say it. Finally, now you're going to bench him. You're going to fire the coordinator. The coordinator should be mad as well. He, he didn't want him. And whoever's responsible for bringing this man back and paying, that, paying him that king ransom, they should be fired as well. It don't make no sense. You had a team that were on the brink to going to the Super Bowl and you've destroyed it in less than a year. I don't understand it. So all the way up to the owner should be accountable. How is Todd Wash, the defensive coordinator, off the hook, by the way? This defensive unit has been one of the biggest disappointments in the NFL this year. So a lot of blame to go around in Jacksonville.